So I've been doing freelance filmmaking for over seven years and to this moment, I still make mistakes. It wasn't technically my mistake, but I want to talk to you guys because I'm really curious to see how you guys will handle the situation I went through yesterday. It was a whole pain in the ass with a client and I want to just kind of let it out and also wonder what would you guys do in this situation. So let's begin with the story. It kind of just gets me mad thinking about it and you guys are going to know why. It's just annoying and I know you guys have gone through this and we continue to go through it no matter what we try to avoid. I feel like it's always our fault. So let's begin with the story. This client reached out to me and he's like, hey Mario, I want that lifestyle playback performance video that you normally do. You know, how does it work? And I told him, hey, if you get one video, it's this much. But if you get two, I may be able to cut the second one as long as it's in the same spot. We can change the color of the lights, but it's going to be the same set and everything. And also, please keep in mind, the way this live session works is you only get 30 minutes. Everything's pre-lit. I have everything organized. So by the time you get there, it's straight to the point right away. Hey, can I push 40 minutes? Can I get an hour? It's not fair. I'm like, it's just the way I've been operating all these live playback videos. I know how this works. I've done 20 of them. So you can't expect an extra hour like why if you want that you're gonna have to pay extra just because now i gotta block my studio off and and so on right he was just trying to push and push and i was like no like in my girl it's funny she told me that's a ref like like you might not want to work with him you should give him his deposit back because he gave me the deposit for that and i was like let me give him one more shot let me try to get everything on text message so number one thing number one big tip have it written down do not just go verbally never jump on a phone call make sure everything's written down so i told him no, I'm sorry. It's the way I work. If you don't want to, that's fine. You know, we, I can give you a refund. And he's like, no, let, let's let, let's go with it. Actually, I gave him an extra 10 minutes. So instead of 30 minutes, I'm like, I'll give you an extra 10 minutes. Just in case you guys want to see some playback, that's fine. But at the end of the day, it's just a live performance. It's not an official video. You know, we're going to do six takes and then we move on to the second video and another six takes, you know, and I have two cameras operating at the same time. I also gave him the terms after that were like, hey, there's no revisions. I want you to be 100 percent understandable that there's, there's zero revisions with these live playbacks. I don't do any deals unless it's going to favor me as far as I'm going to be stressful. It's going to be fun. And these live playback videos are dope. I'm able to get creative with lighting and just make a dope ass lifestyle playback for these artists. And of course, the client said, OK, that works. That's fine. No worries. Two days later, hey, uh, I'm going to connect you with the creative director and the artist because the artist is going to shoot. I'm like, wait, I thought he was the one. So someone else reached out. Hey, I'm the creative director. This now I'm like, it's a live freaking video. Like right off the bat, my girl's like straight up. It's a red flag. Don't do it. And I'm like, oh, let me send my message with the same thing I sent this other guy. So there's no confusion. I put, hey, as a matter of fact, let me grab my phone and let me read it over for you guys. Just so you guys can see the text message real quick. So once I started talking with the creative director, I told him, hey, did he explain to you how this works, right? I just don't want any confusion. He was like, yes, he did for the most part. I was like, okay, I charge this much for two in the same set. If you want a different set, it will be this much more. I just want to let you know, I told your guy, but it's 40 minutes for a live at most. Usually it takes 30 minutes as everything is set up already before your arrival. Payment is due before we start and turnaround is one to three days after the shoot and there's no revisions. Thumbs up, okay, cool. I'll send the music shortly. And thou he agreed upon that. Of course, you guys know where I'm getting with this. So he receives the video. As a matter of fact, let me get my phone back because this is getting real good. And you guys are going to be like, damn, like the, I still deal with this. It's seven years later. And I still did, even though I had it written down and I'll explain what happened. So after that, I sent the video. This is what I got. OK, viewing them now. The color is amazing. I'm not a fan of the almost edit. A lot of the clothes I don't like. I think it's first thing he was forcing it. So and so far, he just went on and on. And I'm like, bro, like you. OK, that's cool that you're sending me this. But at the same time, you agree with it. It's just a live video. It's not an official video where the budget is set. But actually, before we get on that, when I was talking to him on the phone, when I was like, hey, jump on the call with me because I want to like get to the bottom of it instead of going back and forth with text messages. And he's like, man, I, you know, I don't like this or that. I was like, you knew you agree with the no revisions. He's like, oh, but, you know, I'm like, you got a deal, I gave a deal. And when I give a deal, you're going with those circumstances. Like, well, maybe you should charge more if that's gonna be the case. It's like, no, maybe you should pay more if you if you want revisions. You could have asked me, hey, I am I might want revisions. How much would it be extra? Just because I know my artist and I know myself. They could have said that, but of course, as videographers, we're always the blame, right? It's always our fault. So that's what he told me. He's like, you should have charged more. I'm like, no, it's not an official video where it's already charged in there and there's a revision. Cause he was like, we never work like that. There's always a revision. I'm like, yes, I understand. With my official music videos, I always give a free revision. With any work, I give a free revision. But I do include that in the price point. This is a lifestyle playback. And I told you this is 
the agreement just because for me there shouldn't be any changes it's a freaking playback six shots back to back and that's it you go on about your day i go about my day i give you an edit we're good and no artist has ever been a problem with this except for this client so there's always that one person right and uh I just told him like I was even being nice like just keep in mind it's 100 per revision I don't really do revisions online because artists just take it as is if you're okay with that I can take care of your changes so it'll be 200 for both videos I just ask for you to give me the seconds you don't like and I can make the changes so it just goes on and on and I'm like dude this dude is annoying and I was like look bro what I can do if you don't like the second video at all what I can do is I can give you the raw footage and I never do that, but I'm like, you know what? Just to make the person happy, because I'm very, I, I'm, I want people to be happy when they work with me. So I was like, just give me a hundred bucks and I'll send the raw footage and that's it. And you guys can go ahead and change whatever. Does it come colored? I'm like, no, that's, you're going to get the raw footage. You want it colored, you're going to pay for that. Like that's a skill set that I'm going to charge. The fact that I'm even giving you the raw footage, you guys should be happy because there's an agreement and there's never anything, you know, raw footage is always paid for. The agreement says no revisions. I'm trying to work with you. I'm even telling you 100 bucks. Normally I charge 250 for a revision, but I'm being very nice because I want you guys to be happy, but they were just giving me so much shit. And of course, as a videographer, we're going to be the victim, right? So, uh let me let me pop it up cuz it, it goes on, guys. It gets um it gets good. So, I said if I send you the raw footage, you will have to edit it. I charge for my raw footage, so if you want it for 100, we can call it at that or 100 per video. Let me know I can start uploading the raw footage if you prefer it, just to get the raw. I get people want changes, but you should have told me you will want it and I would have declined. That's why I sent you the message for you to accept before going forward. These lives are not supposed to be complicated, but I get it. Some people want it a certain way. We can jump on a call if you like to make it easier and get to the bottom of it so I can go ahead and explain to them. And then after that, uh, everything supposedly was agreed upon on, on a phone call. And then he's like, let me, can I sit with you throughout that? I'm like, no, it's a freaking small little life. Like it's not an official video where you pay tens of thousands. The issue that I have with a lot of you people, and I hope you guys can send this to a lot of artists, a lot of people out there. There's a big issue that you guys don't understand when it comes to business. When you want something a certain way and you know you're that type of person, instead of trying to drain and cause karma's a bitch. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say that. It's true out there. And I hope they get it. And cause I, I'll tell you guys what I did at the end, but instead of trying to make that person miserable put them through stress and all this shit that I, that I was dealing with i was like bro for this something that i'm actually giving you a big favor do you're able to get this type of footage and i'm trying to work with you i'm really trying what people should do is hey how much more can we can i do that should have been done discussed before the agreement like what if i pay extra nobody ever wants to pay extra everybody just wants what they want and they want to suck the shit out of all these creators and I know a lot of you creators are a victim of this. I am, I was, and I continue to will be. And I've done in the past, it's gone through it. And it was just a pain. So I was like, you know what? Let me hit up one of my boys. Let me see what they would do. Do honestly, what I would do is just give him his raw footage, bro. Don't try him shit, get it over with, bro. Don't stress about it and move on, bro. Take the L and then just take the high road. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Instead of me stressing about all this and like going like, cause I wanted to be firm, like you pay me a hundred bucks. I'll give you the raw footage or, or nothing like that. That's it. You know, uh, the the message has been squashed, but I'm just that person that I really want to get to the middle ground. But some of these people just try to, like, make you feel victim. Later on in the message, they're like, hey, all three of us are not excited. I'm like, I don't care if it's you or three other people that are not excited. I don't care if 50 people are not excited. You still got to pay for that. It was already, you agreed. You checked off before we even shot that it's okay. It's okay. We don't need any revisions. All of a sudden, it wasn't enough time all these excuses started happening you knew what you were getting yourself into you agreed and i go with that now in official videos i don't do that i know there's a revision in, in place but for these videos there is none so i go through it just as much as a lot of you creators no matter how much you try to protect yourself and everything's written whether it's contracts they're still gonna try to figure out a way to juice the shit out of us creatives and it sucks you know that's what that's why i kind of don't want to shoot videos anymore that's why I want to do YouTube content and do things for myself because I know I'm going to take care of myself and I understand if I got to put the extra work, the extra dollar, I'm going to do it. Instead of working with some other people, they're going to try to milk everything out of you, stress you out. It's not a healthy career sometimes, you know, and I know it's not all clients. Some clients are amazing to work with. Like I have a lot of clients that, that make me love this, but then there's people like this guy and the, or these three people. And I'm like, man, you know what? Like, I don't even want to do this anymore. Like this is what it comes down to. Like financially, I don't have to take them. I'm just doing it because I want to help the community. I want to give them an option to get quality content at an efficient time 
and you know they're able to p post it and they're able to make multiple reels i won't even get mad if they re-edit it for 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 short phone content whatever like i'm being i really want to help the community but i still get screwed over by helping those people and if i know i also charge a lot of money for these lives people ain't gonna pay so i'm trying to help people out but with these circumstances and this person just try to take a, like a complete advantage of me so I really, uh, this is my mistake. Like, what would you guys have done different? Like, I'm very curious to hear what you guys would do because mine was just, I just sent them the raw footage and that's it, I was done and now I'm at peace and that's it. Like, I'm, I'm over it and I'm moved on, but it just sucks, you know? And I wanna know, would you guys just stay in your ground because there is a message in place because a lot of people, if you don't have this writing, they can blackmail you. They could put you on social media. Don't work with this person. So always have something to back yourself up in case this person ever tries to blackmail you and make other people, you know, talk shit about you make sure because i'm professional if you guys know me i'm a great guy i'm very honest and i get straight to i'm a very good when it comes to this filmmaking business side like i want the client to understand what he's getting i'm trying my best to provide whatever they want that's my mistake for today hopefully i'm able to execute it by this monday and uh which was yesterday what are we at so we're the 22 so i'm trying to post it today right now i'm about to get to the editing part but what would you guys do different leave it in the comments below i want i'm really curious and what have you guys experienced in the past that maybe we can help other creators because like this sucks you know i feel like it's always our fault we try the best to go forward with them and try to help them out in some way but no matter what we're always the victim we feel like the victim they put a lot of worries that make us feel like the victim i know i could have been i could have held my ground but at the end of the day i try so hard to be really good to people so i way you know they understand like i'm about business but also i care about the person that's paying for me because i appreciate anybody that puts a penny in my pocket but some people just go overboard with that. So I keep grambling. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.